the United States and EU have made their position clear on Russian influence in Africa, liking it to the scramble of Africa, which was the colonization of Africa by European powers during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It profoundly reshaped the continent's political, economic, and social landscapes. This period of aggressive territorial acquisition and consolidation by European nations forever altered the trajectory of Africa, leaving a complex and contentious legacy that continues to reverberate in the modern era. If you're new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub. The imposition of artificial borders by colonial administrations was perhaps one of the most disruptive aspects of the scramble for Africa. Existing ethnic and cultural boundaries were carelessly disregarded, as European powers carved up the continent according to their own strategic and economic interests, rather than respecting the indigenous social and political structures that had organically evolved over centuries. This arbitrary demarcation of territories has contributed to ongoing conflicts and political instability in several African regions as ethnic groups found themselves divided by colonial borders and forced to coexist within new nation-states that often lacked coherent national identities. The colonial policies implemented by European powers were primarily focused on extracting resources to benefit the metropole or the colonial power's home country. This led to the establishment of monoculture economies in many African nations, where the economy was heavily reliant on a single commodity. This extractive approach hindered the development of diversified economies and left these countries vulnerable to the fluctuations of the global market. The colonial authorities were more concerned with maximizing the flow of raw materials and agricultural products back to Europe than investing in the long-term economic transformation and industrialization of their African possessions. This short-sighted approach stunted the economic development of these countries and perpetuated their dependence on the colonial powers. Socially, the introduction of European education systems and the promotion of Christianity often marginalized indigenous cultures and knowledge systems, leading to a profound loss of cultural heritage and identity across the continent. The colonial powers sought to assimilate and civilize the local populations, viewing African societies through a lens of cultural superiority and attempting to replace traditional practices and beliefs with European norms. This cultural disruption and the systematic devaluation of indigenous knowledge had far-reaching implications, contributing to the erosion of traditional social structures and the fragmentation of communal identities. The colonial powers' efforts to impose their own cultural norms and values undermined the rich diversity of African societies, causing a significant loss of cultural heritage and identity. The colonial policies implemented by European powers were a complex mix of economic and social factors, with the primary goal of extracting resources and maximizing the flow of raw materials and agricultural products back to the metropole. This extractive approach hindered the development of diversified economies and left many African nations vulnerable to the fluctuations of global markets. Furthermore, the introduction of European education systems and the promotion of Christianity often marginalized indigenous cultures and knowledge systems, leading to a profound loss of cultural heritage and identity across the continent. The colonial powers' efforts to assimilate and civilize the local populations had far-reaching implications, contributing to the erosion of traditional social structures and the fragmentation of communal identities. The legacy of these colonial policies continues to have a significant impact on the economic and social development of many African nations, highlighting the importance of understanding and addressing the long-term consequences of colonialism. The relationship between Africa and the BRICS nations, particularly Russia and China, has undergone a significant transformation in recent decades, marking a clear departure from the exploitative dynamics of the colonial era. In contrast to the colonial power's single-minded focus on resource extraction and the unequal flow of benefits, Africa's modern engagement with the BRICS nations, especially Russia and China, has emphasized mutual respect and shared development. This shift in approach has been driven by a desire to forge partnerships that are more equitable and tailored to the specific needs and aspirations of African countries. Russia has established strategic partnerships with various African nations, primarily through military cooperation agreements and the provision of significant arms supplies. 
Additionally, Russia has made economic investments in key sectors such as mining and energy, seeking to expand its presence and influence on the continent. China's extensive involvement in Africa has centered around infrastructure development, trade, and investment. Initiatives like the Belt and Road have driven the implementation of major projects in areas such as railways, roads, and ports, thereby enhancing connectivity and fostering economic growth across the continent. China has also emerged as Africa's largest trading partner, further strengthening the economic ties between the two regions. The ties between Russia and African nations have undergone a complex evolution over the past century. From minimal engagement in the early 20th century to strategic Cold War alliances, the relationship experienced a period of decline following the collapse of the Soviet Union, only to undergo a revival in recent years. During the wave of decolonization in the 1950s and 1960s, the Soviet Union seized the opportunity to expand its influence by forging alliances with liberation movements and newly independent nations. The Soviet Union positioned itself as a champion of anti-colonial struggles, offering military, economic, and ideological support to these emerging nations. The Cold War period saw the Soviet Union actively seek to expand its influence in Africa, engaging in a geopolitical competition with the United States for dominance on the continent. The Soviets provided military aid, economic assistance, and ideological guidance to African countries, seeking to counter Western influence and establish a foothold in the region. The collapse of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s led to a significant decline in Russia's engagement with Africa. The post-Cold War period witnessed a shift in priorities, as Russia grappled with domestic challenges and a diminished global influence. This era was marked by a relative withdrawal from the continent, with Russia's focus turning inward and its involvement in Africa largely receding. In recent years, however, Russia has sought to revive its engagement with Africa, recognizing the continent's growing strategic and economic importance. This renewed focus has been driven by a range of factors, including Russia's desire to counterbalance Western influence, diversify its international partnerships, and secure access to natural resources and markets. The Russia-Africa Summit, held in 2019, was a significant milestone in this renewed engagement. The summit provided a platform for African leaders and Russian officials to discuss a wide range of issues, including economic cooperation, security, and cultural exchange. It also highlighted Russia's ambition to deepen its ties with the continent and position itself as a key player in Africa's development. The evolving relationship between Russia and Africa is characterized by a pursuit of shared interests and mutual benefits. Russia's involvement in Africa is driven by a desire to expand its geopolitical influence, secure access to natural resources, and strengthen its economic ties with the continent. For African countries, engaging with Russia offers the potential for diversifying their international partnerships, accessing alternative sources of investment and technology, and gaining leverage in their dealings with Western powers. However, the relationship between Russia and Africa is not without its challenges and complexities. The legacy of the Cold War, concerns about human rights and democratic governance, and the geopolitical competition with Western powers all contribute to a nuanced and multifaceted dynamic. Navigating these challenges will require a delicate balance of strategic considerations and a commitment to mutual understanding and respect. The evolving relationship between Africa and the BRICS nations, particularly Russia and China, represents a significant departure from the exploitative dynamics of the colonial era. This shift in engagement emphasizes mutual respect, shared development, and a more balanced approach to economic and diplomatic cooperation. As Africa continues to navigate the complexities of the global landscape, these new partnerships have the potential to play a crucial role in shaping the continent's future. The dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, however, led to a significant reduction in Russia's engagement with Africa, as the country confronted severe internal economic challenges and political instability. This withdrawal signaled a departure from the Soviet era's active involvement in African affairs, leaving many African nations to seek new international partners. In the early 2000s, Russia initiated a strategic re-engagement with Africa, aiming to revive historical alliances and forge new partnerships across the continent, encompassing diplomatic outreach, 
military cooperation, and economic ventures. Meanwhile, the relationship between China and Africa has evolved dramatically, from limited interactions in the early 20th century to a multifaceted partnership encompassing economic, political, and cultural dimensions. In the mid-20th century, both China and various African nations were engaged in struggles against colonialism and imperialism, fostering a sense of solidarity that led China to actively support African liberation movements through material aid, training, and diplomatic recognition. In the aftermath of the Cultural Revolution, China shifted its focus toward modernization and strengthening international relationships, particularly with African nations. This policy manifested in the construction of the Tanzania-Zambia Railway, China's largest foreign aid endeavor in Africa during that period, symbolizing its commitment to supporting newly independent African countries and fostering pan-African socialism. In the 21st century, China has emerged as Africa's largest trading partner, with trade volumes reaching $254 billion by 2021. This robust economic relationship has been facilitated through initiatives such as the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation FOCAC, and the Belt and Road Initiative, leading to significant investments in infrastructure, energy, and telecommunications across the continent. The scope of cooperation has also broadened to include sectors like healthcare, education, and technological innovation, underscoring China's commitment to fostering sustainable development in Africa. The evolution of BRICS' engagement with Africa reflects a transformative journey from historical solidarity to contemporary partnerships fostering mutual growth and sustainable development. Initially, BRICS nations, particularly China and Russia, supported African liberation movements, providing material aid and training to assist in the continent's decolonization efforts. In the post-independence era, this support evolved into substantial economic cooperation, with China's Belt and Road Initiative playing a pivotal role in developing critical infrastructure across Africa, and Russia engaging in energy projects and military cooperation. The establishment of the New Development Bank by BRICS has provided alternative financing for African nations, supporting projects that align with their development priorities. This approach marks a departure from traditional aid models, emphasizing partnerships based on mutual respect and shared interests. As BRICS continues to expand, with countries like Egypt and Ethiopia now members of the bloc, Africa's role in this alliance is set to grow, offering the continent greater opportunities to influence global economic policies and advocate for a more equitable international order. In conclusion, the colonization of Africa by European powers during the late 19th and early 20th centuries profoundly reshaped the continent's political, economic, and social landscapes. The imposition of artificial borders, the prioritization of resource extraction, and the marginalization of indigenous cultures and knowledge systems have all contributed to ongoing challenges and instabilities in various regions of Africa. However, the continent's evolving engagement with BRICS nations, particularly Russia and China, has presented a marked departure from the exploitative relationships of the colonial era. The emphasis on mutual respect, shared benefits, and sustainable development in these contemporary partnerships holds the potential to redefine Africa's trajectory, moving beyond a history of adversity toward a future characterized by shared prosperity and mutual advancement. As Africa continues to navigate the complex legacies of colonialism and forge new pathways for growth and self-determination, the support and cooperation offered by BRICS nations provide a compelling alternative to the traditional power dynamics that have long dominated the continent. This evolution in international engagement holds the promise of a more equitable and inclusive global order, where Africa's unique perspectives and strengths can contribute to shaping a future of shared progress and prosperity. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.